Hello everyone, this is Justin Kane. I'm a Chicagoland real estate investor, and today we're gonna to talk about the focus of our business. Where is our head at as business owners every morning when we wake up? Now, this is probably the most important concept that we're going to get, but it all has to do with what's going on inside of our mind. So I'm gonna draw a simple arrow here. And we're going to have two focuses that we could do. On a daily basis, we can choose to focus on one of two things. And what most people focus on is getting up in the morning and they've got to go to work. And this is their going to work to make money. A lot of our uh, whole, whole life is based around this concept. I mean, we go to school to get good grades, we get good grades so that we can get into a good college. We get into a good college so that we can get a good job, so that we can make money. And then most of that money goes away because of one word. Most of our focus throughout our entire life, we are focused on the debt that we have. Now, we might afford that house, but we can't really afford it. We can just afford the monthly payments. We might be able to kind of afford that car or kind of afford that new boat but we can't really afford it because it's mostly financed. And so most people in the United States today are constantly focusing on how much debt they have. They have to go to work because they've got debt. They have to go to work because they've got monthly payments. And another word for debt, most people call it the bills. Why do you get up and go to work in the morning? Because you gotta pay the bills. So as you're making that money, as you're getting up, you're going to work, whether you leave at five or six or seven, getting on the expressway, you're making the commute. This is the life of most Americans and we're doing that to give our money back because we've already gotten ourselves into debt. And this, if we have any money left, what happens to it is that it goes to taxes. You've got Uncle Sam that takes 50% of your income. Well, if you're making enough money, maybe if you make less than 100,000, they don't take 50%, but taxes are a significant portion of what we do as W-2 employees chasing this dollar, chasing, going around the rat race continually, trying to get wealthy and not focusing on the things that wealthy people focus on. Now, what we've done is any of the money that doesn't go towards bills or doesn't go, go towards our taxes, we put into a 401k. And this is a concept that was put together not so very long ago, maybe 30, 40 years ago, for wealthy top of the company executives who are making a lot of money to be able to put their money away in a savings plan to save for retirement. Now, the 401k was never designed to be a replacement for Social Security or for, to be a replacement for savings because the 401k is mostly invested into stocks or into mutual funds. Now. Stocks and mutual funds are great if you understand them and if you're in for the long term. But if you look at the constant performance of the stock market, there are ups and downs and most people are pulling their money in and out of their 401k and moving their stocks around so that at the end of your working life, let's say you're 60 or 70 years old, there's not enough money in your 401k to retire on. So you have to get a second job or something. So the retirement is a big dream at the end of all this debt and all the bills and everything that we go through. Now I hate to be morbid, but most people in the United States, this is their focus. Whether they're making 50, 80, or 100, or $150,000 a year, it just means that they're broke at a different level. Instead of living in a $100,000 house, they're now living in a $400,000 house making that huge house payment or they go out and buy new boats or they take vacations. Now, this is not what wealthy people focus on. I'm gonna give you two words that wealthy people focus on and I want you to really remember these. Their focus every morning is on systems and assets. Systems and assets are what the wealthy people in our country focus on every single day in order to become wealthy and stay wealthy. Let's think about a person who wasn't wealthy starting off and has become fabulously wealthy, very, very well known in this country. His name is Bill Gates. He is the founder of Microsoft 
and he has systems and assets that pay him whether he works or not. Another person, Steve Jobs, working in the same field as Bill Gates, has systems and assets that pay them every day. But how many of us really think about the systems that we have? The systems that pay us every day, or think about the assets that are paying us every day? I don't think very many people do. So what I want to do is I want to show you the journey that I went through from when I was a band teacher to now as an entrepreneur, what I get to do on a daily basis. Now my story starts off with me as a band teacher. I went to school, I got good grades, and I was focused on debt. I was focused on school debt, I was focused on credit card debt. I needed to get a job. So I went out and I got a job and I was making $34,500 per year. And most of that money was going into taxes or going to pay my bills or going into a retirement account called a 403B. Now, as I changed my focus, I got educated, I started to learn about investing, I started to read books on investing and learned to get into real estate, to, to invest into real estate and to start my own business. As my focus changed, I started to think about the systems and assets that I have that pay me on a daily basis. Now, whether or not that system is a system that I set up or that I purchased from somebody else, it doesn't really matter because I started to focus on the systems. I now have a system that pays me every month. It's called a management company. So when I manage people's properties or my own properties, that management company pays me on a monthly basis. And I take that system money and roll it down into assets. Now when we go over, or if you've already seen Robert Kiyosaki's cash flow quadrant, you're going to see that business owners focus on systems, investors focus on assets. The focus for systems and asset is what turns into a wealth cycle. So let's say that you've got an asset. Maybe you own a rental property. Maybe you own a strip mall. Maybe you own a small commercial, uh, maybe a gas station or something. Those assets combined with the systems that make money in that asset on a daily basis will turn into a wealth cycle. As your assets produce more money from the rent or from the sales that are generated in those assets, the systems can become better. As the systems become better, you can have more assets paying you. As more assets pay you, the systems become better and you see that it turns into a cash flow machine because you're leveraging your time and leveraging the systems and assets that you have as opposed to on the bottom side here where you have to constantly put in your time. You have to constantly go to work. You have to constantly get up in the morning because if you stop working, guess what stops happening? There's no more money being put into the system. If you stop working up here and your systems are good enough and you have enough assets, the money continues to flow and that's how wealthy people get wealthy. So if you'd like more information on how to change your focus from debt and this bottom side here to systems and assets, I want you to click on the Get Started Now link here on this page. Thanks for watching and now you understand where your focus should be every morning.